You have been listening to On the Town with a League of Gentlemen who are Mark Gatiss, Steve Pemberton, and Reese Shearsmith. The program was written by the cast and Jeremy Dyson. This is a local shop for local people. There's nothing for you here. Fireman, what's going on? What's all this shouting? We'll have no trouble here. In one of Pauline's pens. I used to be in a war. An astronaut. Piss off! <laughs> Where to, Paul? Swan Mills Estate, please. I wonder if you'd take a seat, Mr. Tinsley. <laughs> Worthless dull scum. <laughs> you heard the man tops? Get undressed. Let's have a game of Go Johnny Go 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 Go! Fine idea, young man. I'll just sort through these. I don't know how to play that one either. Oh, everyone knows Go Johnny Go 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 Go. I don't. You, you do. do. I don't. You do. It's like a cross between Hoover and Eight Men Down. <laughs> I don't know how to play those either. No. Oh. That's okay. We'll just have to explain the rules to you then, Doc. It's very simple. Jacks are worth ten, kings are worth three. Apart from one eye jacks, which are wild cards. Yeah, but we'll come to those in a minute. Thin, 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 thin. Oh, don't you hate going away, Iris? I said we'd never seen him before. Did Tubbs do right? You did it beautifully, Tom. <laughs> Good morning. We are Legs Akimbo Theatre Company. Make something up on Luigi. Please, Luigi. <laughs> Luigi, please. In this house. We do it, Master Beat. Hello. Babysitter. <laughs> And Brumble Picker. Any used tissues? The shit business. <laughs> there is a Swansea. <laughs> How many killings? Whoopee shit. Okey pokey, pig in a pokey. Good morning, job seekers. Oh, what's going on? What's all this shouting? We'll have no trouble here. Seaman is such a persistent stain. He has me doing things that would make a whore blush. Beg me. Was it something I said? We didn't burn him! Well, piss oh, off there! <laughs> Shut up! Is that a crown you wear? It just tastes so good. Lines and lines and lines and lines and lines! Creme brulee. I'm your son. Nine maverick bars. <laughs> they won't get bars! <laughs> round one you get a hand of nine, round two a hand of seven. Two's a wild card. Well, we'll come to those in a minute. Apart from diamonds which retain their face value. Except the king of diamonds, obviously. Yeah, obviously. We play in sequence unless you can match a pair or play a card in ascending or descending order. If you can, that's a go, Johnny, go, 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 go. You stand up and pull the cards on the table, shout, go, Johnny, go, 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 go! The winner is the man with the most tricks after 15 hands. You'll pick up the rest as we play. <laughs> hands up. <laughs> Who's gay? I'm not. White for hands, brown for feet, green for torso, thighs and seat. And in the cupboard <laughs> beneath the stair, you'll find the red for pubic hair. Are you a local? Him number 168. Brian said Cheryl looks like a moose. Excuse me, Mum, I think I'm going to be sick. They say we came down here and caught you doing something naughty. <laughs> like what? Shaking hands with the governor of love. Up below, eh? Okey cokey, pig in a pokey. Good morning, job seekers. The, the chimp was there. The shit business. The plan worked beautifully. Um. Hungry. In 87, both our mums got really ill roughly the same time. Mine, thank God she got better, but yours died, didn't she, Mike? <laughs> Did she? It looks like awful, Mr. Chinnery. I want to see lame is. Oh. What happens if I use the white towel <gasps> instead of the brown? <gasps> what happens then? I will not. I want to live locally. Hello, Barbara. A three? You can't lead with a three! This is go, Johnny, go, 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 not bam, 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 fist, fat! Hello, hello, what's going on? What's all this shouting? We'll have no trouble here. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Oh, you're my wife now. At least I won the mums! I just came in for a can of coke. I can, I can't. He wants to paint me naked! Yes, tell me, have you seen Evita? No need to be rude, dear. My mass and pegs, Dad. Can I have some of your special stuff? In this house, we do not use the F word. <laughs> this 
is a toad. Hi, welcome to England. Jump leads for one. Oh. I wanted to buy a can of Coke. I can, I can't. A can of Coke. I can, I can't. Loads <laughs> and loads of clings. How many? Loads. Benjamin, where have you been? What is her name? His name's Justin. Justin. Very interesting, Mr. Barnes. Sit. <laughs> it's in the hole. Town. <laughs> what? Oh, come on, Doc. What? Well, that's a go, Johnny. Go, 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 go. Is it? Oh, well, you much. can't touch them. Why not? You've got to say, go, Johnny, go, 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 go. Go, Johnny, go, 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 go. I have to stand up first. And say, go, Johnny, go, 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 go. Go, Johnny, go, 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 go. All right, now name your pairs. What? Name your pairs. What are you saying about naming pairs? You put down a five. Yes. Well, if you put down a five, you must have pairs. Why must I have pairs? Because that's a go, Johnny, go, 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 go. Oh, for God's sake. Well, you can't look at them. Why well, am I supposed to remember them? That's the whole point. <laughs> It's four, 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 two, four, four. Ah! It's Jade knows and she's disgusted with you. We can't take these without a special mark. It's a fucking pleasure. You always knew I had this gun. You won't get far. <laughs> Alice Clark. Honestly, Iris, it's getting as bad as your estate. I know, Mrs. Levinson. <laughs> Ten kings are worth three. Well, from one eye, Jack, which are Look! Why can't we just play something simple? Or why do we only ever play things that you two know the rules of? It was like this when we were kids. You used to put bets on fucking Buckaroo. Why can't we just play. Hangman? Ooh. All right, Doc. Whatever you say, Doc. Hangman it is. Hangman. Sounds good to me. I'm sorry. It's all right, Hangman. We're playing Canadian rules or Italian. What in it? <laughs> Alice Clark. But how do you know, Hillary? How do you know? Who can tell what this might be doing to us? My name is Kathy Carter Smith. <laughs> and this is now my pad. Come on, Ham, let's make your fucking mind up! <laughs> You're in the driving seat now. <laughs> I know. I do into them, Dave. They can't stop theatre. My wife's got a fanny like a bear trapper's hat. <laughs> it's a great business, isn't it? Dear all, it's great here. Uncle Harvey and Auntie Val are so wonderful. I'm going to stay for at least five years. Have we missed the cakes? Beg me. Can I help you, pal? Daddy. Ipswich, Reading, Wood Green. Nine. And could I be a complete pain and bum a ciggy off you? Mm -hmm. I've just been sitting on a bus for like half an hour and I'm like, give me nicotine, give me caffeine, now please. <laughs> ah! <laughs> give that to me. Yeah, I, I... Damn. Hoist by my own patoots. You don't have to get drunk to have a good time, do you, Tony? Huh, you would if you were married to that, I, eh, Tony? <laughs> and you're interested in the trolley job. And that is right. I'm very interested, yes. <laughs> I feel that my ability to work well is part, part of, of a team. team. And yet take individual responsibilities <laughs> are important factors in a job of this nature. <laughs> what work experience have you had? I left school early and started oh, to work... Oh, so you didn't go to college? No, I felt that actual work experience... So you have no qualifications? Well, if you don't count 20 years in the employment service... Well, no, no, I don't. I'm talking about academic achievement, degrees, diplomas... Oh, no, come, come off, off it, Ross! Ross. Shoving trolleys round as the car park, park a fucking monkey, monkey could, could do, do it. it! Nothing but a buzzing Phillips lady oh. share between your legs to keep you company on a cold winter's night. <gasps> you don't eat the special stuff? Somebody has to stay in control. <laughs> oh no! It's tight and dead! But I love gay guys. Tomasty Jew turned out to be 
pathetic. Yeah, I can show you some things. I've seen them, Tony. They'll make you sick. The Sprit! <laughs> Don't turn out your plane to believe me! Oh, there is no different to him, sir. They talk to the Canadians or I, Barbara Dixon, take thee, David Charles Tatsura. Oh, Mum! <laughs> Thanks a lot. Oh. See you next year, Justin. Would you say you're a fairly egregious person? <laughs> what? Are you an egregious person? Do you have an egregious personality? Yeah, yeah, I do, yeah. Oh. And me and you is gonna sit ourselves down and have a girl to girl talkie, capish? I am not a girl! I'm a man! And at least I've had a boyfriend, which is more than be said for you, you stupid fucking shit! Go, Benjamin, leave us in peace. Do you mind if I have a word? Will heaven be like Swansea? Oh, a typical family Christmas. Keep it still, dickhead! Uh, come in my faith, full. My. Great grandfather was the foremost in his field. I'd love to be as funny as you. I'd love to be as popular as you. Oh, please let me learn from you. Every time she hears Neil Sadak, it's just tweeting onion as if it's an apple. She wears glasses, you know. I know. Three cheers for Mr. Chinnery. But first, you must bring us three things. <laughs> right. I'm going to say some other words to you now, and I want you to. Reply with the first thing that comes into your head, all right? Right, yes, yes. Home. Royston Vesey. Eh? Family. Dad. Friends. Pens. <laughs> friends. Pens. Pens! They're the best friends you can have. Everything I know about people I learned from pens. If they don't work, you shake them. If they still don't work, you chuck them away. Bin them! <laughs> Oh, it's not nice being bullied, is it? Maybe don't! Oh, nearly there, OK. Alice Clark! <laughs> Good, Alice Clark. <laughs> you learn Spanish! <laughs> there are so many of them, Edward. One, two, three, five, twelve, six, <laughs> ten, <laughs> didn't make me waddle through life with a tin opener in one hand I screamed scoop in the other. Oh, blah, 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 blah. Leave the twist back tonight. Okie kooky, pig in a pokey! Can I get your age, please, Paulie? I think that's a lady's prerogative. Now, how old you are for the records? Well, let's, let's just say, say I'm as old, old as we go and a little bit missed. How old are you? Right, thank you for coming to see us today. Thank you very much. When do I start? Uh, oh, I'm, oh, I'm sorry. sorry. I, I, uh, I can't, can't offer you this, this position. position. <laughs> <laughs> you what? <laughs> well, you failed the interview. You strike me as a bully. <laughs> Ill-mannered. Ignorant, foul mouthed, you're not qualified for this job. And apart from anything else, <laughs> you're too old. <laughs> Miss. Oh, good. You are still erect. <laughs> Give me that quill back. You're a real good treat. <laughs> This now, Dick fucking Whittington. Come on, Nick, give it a good squeeze. Oh, shit! Oh, 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 me! Kathy Carter Smith! You fat woman, fat! You must forgive me, I'm a little whoopsie. You'll be wanting to see men dressed up as women next. Hello, Dad! Hello! Mr. Singleton Booth, me, have you eaten? I managed to get something earlier. Well, I could cycle down and get you something, or... I don't get you any trouble, sir. Piss off, you big fat cunt! You have splashed all over me! This is the price. Got some pegs belonging to you! But this is a local shop! A cheese dream, a dream brought about by eating cheese. Huh? I'm free! I mean, clean the bastard bins and you eat! <laughs> Good, thank 
thanks very much for that, Ross. Mm -hmm. Do you want to take your place? Yep. Yes, I feel Ross handled that situation very well, job seekers. Look at everything's back here. Yeah, although it, it did make me wonder how well he'd handle a situation more like this. <laughs> <laughs> Foul fucking man! <laughs> well, you late like now, well, it's egregious, egregious! Is this what it means? Is it egregious enough for you? Stop it, buddy! <laughs> Stop it, you nutter! He's coming back. Please do as he says. He's a very dangerous man. He'll stick pipes in you. <laughs> do elaborate. A blub, blub, blub. <laughs> You're a vampire! Thank you. That's okay! <laughs> Another vet has touched the monkey's bollocks. And now you and all your descendants shall suffer the curse of carrot paw! <laughs> 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 But the curse! There's no such thing as a curse! Hello, Dad. But he's not local! It doesn't matter. I was gonna stick this into you! I thought you were a vampire! I don't like you! I am just a queen! Hi, I'm Ollie Plimsells. Parky out! Parky in! Parky out! Parky in! He's a carpenter! I am a carpenter. That's normal for homeless. Sometimes we get found dead of starvation. Nobody cares. Ding ding ding, pop, stand clear of the doors, please. Ding ding, pop, pop, mind the gap. <laughs> ding ding, pop, stand clear of the doors, please. Ding ding, pop, pop, mind the gap. Poverty is poetry with an extra. V! v. Hi there, my name is Cheesy Host, and welcome to another edition of Safe Choices. Johnny Smith, your time starts now. Issues, issues, female genital mutilation, issues, issues. Oh! Blast off, blow off, let off steam. Iron and steel magnolia is only as old as your Felix the cat weasel. Pop goes the top of the range, Grinch Hill. Why won't you speak to me, Roland of hope and glory? Country. Good dream or like. Stop! Just because he's well dressed and plausible doesn't mean to say he isn't a dangerous predator, also. We get all kinds in here gay, straight, lesbian. Polly, for fuck's sake. A cartwright, a Russell, a fucking a gummer. A cartwright, a Russell, a fucking a gummer. What about him? Not hearing nurse. Not hearing nurse. Not here in now, you are here. Issues, 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 are you sure this is New Road? Yes, Edward, I can see it. Lines and lines and lines and lines and lines. Some people ain't got no sense of humour. Time's all you've got, sugar nips. Yeah, that's more like it. I want a good atmosphere. Carry on. Mrs. Peasley, you cannot buy my opinion as you would buy a used motor car. You don't have to pay the all amount, just open the door and have a talk. <laughs> Put me in now. Stick me an arm on. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Press pause, rewind, sunshine. It's not that simple. Are you as thick as you are? Oh! If you think I'm leaving here without that 30, you must be. What kind of disease prick did you drip off the end of anyway? Come this way. <laughs> Oh, 
The entrance to this particular cave is quite low down, so mind you don't bump your heads. <laughs> now, not a lot of people know that Stump Hole Cavern takes its name from the crippled prostitute. We <laughs> used to ply a trade here in the 17th century. If you look carefully up there, you can still see her tariff etched into the limestone in soot. <laughs> Shoot thy muck upon my bristles and visage. <laughs> A penny. <laughs> Up the shitter. <laughs> A guinea. <laughs> like dogs. <laughs> Gratis. <laughs> Right, if you just uh, stay close behind me, mind the shale on this floor. Quite slippy. Ah-ha! Once again I win the game! The arm of a woman! I know, I know. Why, Mike, why? It's not even on right. You'll be back in the click clink by the end of the week. Something wrong with this arm. It's like it's possessed or something. Don't be so daft. Looks like a cock in a box. It is. So, what do you want? Why can't Phil be deaf blind? Because I've got polio. So, what are you going to do? Comedy. Can you smell spliff? What do you mean, school beef, anyone want any bacalao in We are, of course, part of a much wider, wider network, network of caverns that riddle the entire county, county including, including the much larger Red Scar cavern located some half a mile away to the west. A trifle flashy for my taste, I have to say, with their gift shop, granary-style cafeteria and 100% safety record plastered all over their promotion. <laughs> there you go. Now, if we stay in single file, we'll make our way into the main cavern. This year, three minutes. I love gay guys. You can actually talk about blobbing and boys and shit, and it's just like you with a girlfriend. So come on then, anyway, goss, goss, goss. They're yeah, very clever. Are you pleased? This wouldn't happen. What are you pointing at? Cake. Okay. How do you know? How do you know what a cake is, even? You could be pointing at a brick or a hat or something. Oh, God, he's ugly. Shut up. Looking forward to some heavy fucking. No, you can stay there all day as far as I'm concerned. I'm sick of pushing on that thing anyway. School beef, anybody got any bottle of iron dove? And you are? Nancy Glass, Kiss's mother. She's not a real mom. Speak when you're spoken to, Kissy. Come on, stealing vessel! John, if you get two bars and lucky seven, is it better to nudge or hold? Not bothered, not bothered. Call me. Daddy. I'm interested in purchasing a barbecue. Trust your daddy. Ooh, the brand new baby. I do think it's worth pointing out that Red Scar were served with a council notice ordering, ordering them to replace 115 yards, yards of faulty, faulty wiring. wiring. Put it this way, I wouldn't like to get caught down there in a thunderstorm. And no amount of trilobites in perspex or stegosaurus shaped pencil tops is going to change that. <laughs> Hello, nerds. It's good, isn't it? Let's solve some crime. You see a toilet here, please? Kiss it! <laughs> Hello there, madam. Don't worry. We're not going to get you. Hey, hey. Dead. Oh, dead. Oh, I always knew I could do it, no. Ah, oh, well, you're a very clever girl. Charlie, I'm not rolling round on this bed with Judy Levinson's dad, Minge, clamped to my mouth while you peep at us from the airing cupboard. Would you be prepared to have your breast punched? What? <laughs> bit ticklish. Right. Oh, this particular cavern may already be familiar to you from its countless appearances on the small screen. 1974, you couldn't move down here for Cybermen. <laughs> in fact, there was a rather amusing incident in which Tom Baker sprained his ankle on that rock there. This, this goes, goes to, to show how easy accidents, accidents happen. Kiverdi and one calamari followed by deliver. It's the classic cream passionelle, the glamorous mistress, the pathetic hen-pecked husband. What are we gonna do? 
I've never been so humiliated in all of my life, led on by a sad little homo. I wouldn't like to be in your shoes when Eddie finds out. Are you all right? I'm not looking forward to the fat one. Shame it's not a loamier soil, actually. Good eve. Good afternoon. Oh, Mrs. Steele, God bless her, has taken her husband away for the entire weekend. I'm afraid to say the calamaris is off for tonight. <laughs> It's around about this stage of the tour, I like to raise the subject of darkness. You know, there's nothing quite like the darkness we get down here in the caves. I myself, not fond of the darkness. I sleep with the lights on now. It's in the darkness I see the boy's face. <laughs> Eyes protruding, tongue out, black. People used to say to me, Kenny, a dog cinema, you crackers. Oh, ma'am! Do me program! Oh, Vinny! It's all good stuff, dear. It's all good stuff. The party of goths coming over from Leeds. Oh, hello, Eve. How do you get on with the costumes? I'm an She's my wife! <laughs> now, what the bloody hell's going on? It's good soup, is that? What is wrong with people on here? What is wrong with people? You killed me, Rainey. You let that red bag fly out of the window. You're not my friend. <laughs> I'm your friend. I can't believe you fell for that one. <laughs> if you look over here, you'll see some of the limestone formations, which Stumpole is more famous. Used to be more famous. <laughs> so here we have Santa Claus, his beard and sack. <laughs> the Wombles. You see how the sediment forms the brim of Orinoco's hat? <laughs> the specimen jar, the toffee apple, and Errol Flynn. Hello there. Cat films are shit. Katie Morgan. Dev. Don't dodge it, don't dodge it! <laughs> <laughs> Loki's drop. Ah, battle hard animals. You better hurry for me. But, uh, this is all like a very funny advert. When I look at it, I seem to see a little pair of hands clutching at a slippery wet rope, <laughs> sliding down, down into the, the dark water. water. <laughs> Sometimes I'll stand here for hours, <laughs> just looking at it. Well, why don't you talk to the others about it for... Ah, uh, they're all there with you, are they? I want to fill this stage with dead babies! Oh, please! Your aunt Val's vaginal douche! All the characters wake up one morning, and they've got tails. <laughs> I made a little brown fish. Ah! Every day the same. Parade of blank faces, the constant drip drip from the cabin roof, the cold indifference of the ancient rock. But you keep going, don't you? It's like the moss growing around that little light bulb there. Life finds a way. Look at that skein of iron oxide. You wouldn't find anything like that in Red Scar. Remember the guide on your way out. Cobweb generator. How does this work? It's a spider. Oh, Dustin, my Dustin, my very own Dustin. Going somewhere local. Mum! Mum, I told I'm doing my program. You're not real. We are now. <laughs> All it takes is one big puff. Do you own a bike, Mrs. Beasley? Be no evil, see no evil, and fucking evil! No, I think I've shit myself as well. You in it? Demon butcherer, Hilary Briss. Alice Clare, the one with the funny meat. When we go through that door. 
Once again, I win the game. Okay, do we have a Pam Doof, please, or a Pamela Doof? I'm Pam Doof. <laughs> Hello there, how are you feeling? <laughs> Bit nervous. <laughs> oh, don't worry about that, Pamela. Is it Pam or Pamela? Pam, Pamela, whatever. Okay, we'll stick with Pamela for now, shall we? We're in a news agent. Yeah. It's a beautiful day outside, and a young girl... Pamela walks into the shop, looks around a little bit and says, Excuse me, has anyone got a bottle of orange juice? And that's it. It's part of a montage thing. Oh, there's a lot of sausages, look! Where? I'm sure I've got something in here for you. You've been a good little boy, haven't you? You know I've got this gun, do ya? Liza McQueen, creme brulee. We're not playing Russian roulette. It is Christmas. Give Hello, four, 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 two, four, four. These four men are our creator. It's a shit business. Sadak. Steve Pemberton. <laughs> There's a special mark. Go and get the computer. You'll make it quick. We'll be back any minute. Yeah, all right, all right. I'm not an octopus. We are your characters, and we've come into your world. Do you want movements within it? She comes into the shop, obviously. No. She looks around and says, Excuse me, has anyone got a bottle of orange juice? And that's it. So, if you wanted to give us that in your own time, then that'd be cool. Do you think I could go out and come back in again? Absolutely. Get him on. Whatever's good for you, Pamela. Kill, kill, kill. Okay, go! Twigs go up a funny. It's brilliant. Good evening, gentlemen. <laughs> Clippings from your toenails. Mm. You? Cup of your drool. And you? Both of your eyes. What? Jeff Tips, a clever man with a big cock, comes in and stops the king from being killed. He is a hero. His cock is big. Thank you. Just get on with it, Tweedle Twat. Okay. This is me house. All of this. Excuse me if I've anybody got any baccalaureate door. <laughs> Okay. Yeah. Don't know what happened there, Pamela. I lost the line. Really? Yeah, I think perhaps a bit more diction. I'll go out and I'll, I'll come back again. Yeah, cue. Excuse me, thy ladyship, but um, would thee like to see my cock? It's gone bloody massive. I never had me put it. Bad evening to you are. What queer finery he wears. I'm not queer, don't bum me! George of Vazda. What the Vazda? Where are you going? You can't go without me. A cow can't walk on two legs. You seem to manage it all right. God, I'll tell you anything. I haven't started yet. All right. No. But you can speak to him through me. <laughs> now I am George. <laughs> The, the characters from Moist and Vase are alive. I say, it's the flags of all nations, boys and girls. I have some information you may find very interesting. But George, are you all right? Yeah, I'm all right, yeah. School to beef, have a butter, got a Again, I'm not getting a sense of the line as written. You're playing it quite angry, aren't you? Yeah, yeah, yeah quite angry. <laughs> Just try and lighten her up a bit. Uh, right. Yeah. Yeah. Is it true you've got massive cocks? Well, we've got to move on. Maybe think about having another one. Not to replace Julie. We can never do that, you drowned her. Oh. <laughs> Hiya, lads. And now he's sat weeping in a corner while a kiddie in a wheelchair burns to death during a matinee. <laughs> How could you not tell the difference? I thought you were staying in character, like a 
Mike Lee thing. Yeah, what about those eyes? I just thought you were tired. All your babies and that. Hey, I'm not standing for this. You wouldn't come up very far if you did. <laughs> Fuck me, yes. Come on out. It won't bite you. Did Tubbs do right? You did it beautifully, Tubbs. Ah, yeah. Smile. Do you get much work as an actress, Pamela? No. <laughs> what if? <gasps> Fucking hell! Fucking bitch! <laughs> oh, oh, what was that? <laughs> oh, this is just a saga now. Oh, you bad sod. <gasps> Shelly Winters? That's another one gone then. Taxi for Papa Abanazaru! What, Hillary? He's an homunculus. <laughs> She's my wife now. You, my friend, are F-U-K-T fucked. You bitch. I don't know whether to take you in hand or shoot both barrels into your mouth. What would you suggest, sir? <laughs> they both sound disgusting. Happily ever! My safety's on lock. Still haven't met Martin, I'm a bit stuck now. Maybe people get up this late in your house, I don't know. <laughs> we, we like to think, think of the morning as the better part of the day. day. Perhaps you're a naturally sleuthful person. Sluggish and indolent, a dawdling flanner content to waste his life, spread eagled on pillows, forever <laughs> indulging himself in the pleasures, in the pleasures of, the of the park. <laughs> it's only quarter past nine. And already a third of the morning has gone, dissolved into the ether. Yes, but that's Never mind! <laughs> Never mind. Dearest Benjamin, I'm so pleased you're able to attend your Uncle Harvey's funeral. It means the world to the girls and myself to have you there. Welcome to the Royston Vesey tour of terror. Have you ever read the Bible, Pet? No, no, I haven't. No, me neither. Do you uh, need any DVDs? You are. DVDs? They don't know what DVDs are. So it's like videos, but you don't have to rewind them. With it being the first Monday in the month, I will be honoring New Day as usual. Which is what I believe your Uncle Harvey would have wished. It's fine, Auntie Val, honestly. No, I definitely want a girl. <laughs> well, I don't know about you, Benjamin. We like to start each morning with a glass of fresh aqua vita. Would you care to join us? Yes, mineral water would be fine. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 not mineral water. Aqua vita! Aqua vita! The water of life! It really, it really is, is the perfect, perfect way, way to, to set, set up your body, body for the day, day full, full of nitrates and enzymes. enzymes. A natural antibiotic. Antival will fetch you a glass. You can fill it now if you like. I'm sorry. Fill it with your own feculence as we do. <laughs> fill it with my feculence. Micturate, Benjamin, micturate. Pass water. <laughs> you want me to piss into a glass? <laughs> this is a local shop for local people. There's nothing for you here. Would well, uh, Victor benefit from the odd tree ball first thing? No, no, it's worse than that. It stinks like the grave. Okie dokie, pig in a pokey! Good morning, job seekers! Once upon a time, I had a husband. How are you? You still having flashbacks about being stuck in that elephant? No, no, it's all in the past. Hello, Benjamin. We've had no one to play with. For years and years and years. Hello, dragons. Top as I can hear you! I hear you in my dreams! Come on, on your feet! <laughs> I must be ashamed of one's bodily functions. No, no, I don't think I want to. Let's get the little fire out, shall we? <laughs> <laughs> now, if you'd like to place the glass thusly, all you have to do is let yourself go. <laughs> it 
just release yourself into the glass. <coughs> just let yourself go, Benjamin, into the glass. In, In this, this house, house we think of a dripping tap or a babbling brook. <laughs> <laughs> just let it flow. No, I can't. <laughs> Do you want a bigger glass? No! Nothing to do with the size. I don't want to, all right. <gasps> oh, dear. It seems Benjamin thinks there's something odd about drinking one's own slash. <laughs> something unnatural. Yes, I do. Well, there are plenty of precedents in the animal kingdom that demonstrate otherwise. My toads. For example, will consume almost three times their own volume in urine every day. Perhaps you would mock the toad and his wisdom. What is good enough for him is not so for you. Well, the toad has been on the surface since time! Millions of years before man saw fit to strut up like among the trees. And I dare say he and his brethren will outlast their own petty species in the great revolutionary battle. So join me then and drink! Drink! The winner becomes more like him and his Petrachian friends! <laughs> or would you prefer tea? <laughs> you better get this porch light fixed. Someone could have a nasty accident. Oh, hello. What's going on? What's all this shouting? We'll have no trouble here. They tried to grab my globes. <laughs> all friends. Did you meet him through an agency? <laughs> I believe the relationship between the two of you was complex. He boomed her. No, I didn't. Once upon a time, I had a husband. And brother. You heard the woman, Tobbs? Get undressed. <gasps> What's guys it? I think it's Charlie's turn to ask us a question. Mm. Come on, Charlie, get on with it. Should have brought his glasses, Tony. Hey, I'm not the one that needs glasses, Tony. She's the one that needs glasses. <laughs> it's all right, getting married to him. I must have been blind, eh, Tony? <laughs> 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 right, yellow, ancient history. Charlie. What is the world's oldest known vegetable? Oh, that is Charlie. <laughs> no. The answer is the potato. My God! No, hang on, we haven't answered yet. One, two, three. three. Pink, Pink, please. please. No, she's, she's, don't, don't play with him, referee. She said the answer, referee. Piss off, Ross. You smug speck of dough scum. She broke my job. How's that for motivation? <laughs> Brian got bummed by some bin men. Do you remember that, Brian? <laughs> Was it something I said? I want you to kill Cheryl for me. Okay, when did you eat done by? No, oh, I just came back to dig up some old friends. Hey, why did you force her? Why did you force her? I didn't force her! <laughs> Good evening. My friend Cream wouldn't approve of that. We pass him to you, pass you to him, we pass him to this you. This is madness. Pass you to him, we pass him a to madness. you. Madness! You know the only consolation? I have the one thing that gives me a tiny sense of justice. <laughs> Locomotive train, misters by inches. Hang on, is this for a little bit of pie? It's cheese. It's pie? It's cheese, Stella. Is it cheese or pie, referee? It's an ordinary question, anyway. Well, come on, then. Who is better known as the Little Trump? <laughs> Don't you dare, Charlie. He crimes, I know this one and all. Um, Five, uh, four, no, shut three, up. two, one. Beep, beep. Charlie Chaplin. And no, a fact of a whip bread. That's orange, you blind bitch. No, well, I haven't got any glasses on, have I? I thought you didn't need glasses. No, Charlie, it's you I don't need. Man alive, number five. Excuse me, would this kill a fat woman tonight? Many people would have been broken by this. I know I was. In no time at all. <laughs> was it 1987 when both our mums got really ill? My mum died and yours didn't. Exactly! <laughs> that is clear! Thanks, Eleven. Thanks, Eleven. How long would I have to hold the pillow <laughs> over his face? <laughs> I won that! <laughs> At least I won the bombs! Ian, you're very cute. <laughs> I'd like to tickle your belly button. From the inside. Why are you doing 
So why don't you fetch us a kinder egg each from the box in the attic? Hello, Dad! I sent you an email! Well, I can't open them, can I? I've only got Windows 95! Chef, what have you done? Put it! Come on, Tony, we get this right, we get another bit of pie! It's cheese! It's pie! It's cheese! It's pie! All right, then! They're gonna try and make it really hard, then. Oh, have you heard that before? <laughs> Now look at him, all the blood's rushed to his head. Stella. It's the only place he does rush to these days. All right, here's your question then, you stupid fucking slag. <laughs> Charlie. It's only a bloody game. Yeah, like being married to him. Trivial pursuits. Do you want your question, Stella? Is it for pie? No, it's for me. When I got wanked off in a van by a groupie called Maureen. You know I've got this going, do you? On its own. Number one. I say, just update me instead. In this house, we don't die. But we still love you, don't we, Brian? Yeah. <laughs> but I know every morning in heaven you'll be shouting, Good morning, Jim Seeker! Hey! My favourite signora. Why don't we start with you telling me your opening position? On top with my eyes closed, if it's any of your business. Don't let the bugger bite you. <laughs> Cheers! Do you still love me? Oh, that's too easy, Charlie. Ask me another. Oh, I've had enough of this. <laughs> Sorry, I haven't won him yet. He wants to ask me a question. Don't, Stella. Come on, why don't you ask me? Right, I'll ask it myself. Stella, have you slept with other men? Can I help you? Oh, I hope so, Richie. I hope so. We love him, honor him, comfort him, buy some pegs The toilet is no place for a duck. I'm going for a ciggy as well. Well, don't try and bum my boyfriend, will you? Why not? You might enjoy it. The last one did. Regrouting the bathroom tiles with their own ready mix paste. <laughs> this is Les McGann. McQueen. McQueen. That's right, Mickey Love, the bitch is back. <laughs> Serving job centre realness. I've just been taken wherever the wind it has blown me. Why don't you ask Tony? <laughs> Tony might know the answer to that one. Ask Tony. Five, four, three, two, one. We win. I hate this game. We still play it though, don't we, Stella? Why don't we play something different, something less stressful? Like what? Let's have a round of Go Johnny Go 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 Go! The final time this is a local shop for local people. There's nothing for strangers here. But it's Mike and Cheryl's day. <laughs> I never stop loving her, Luigi. Yeah. I only want to have fun, Luigi. Gordon never listens to me, Luigi. He's got a scar temper on him, Luigi. He's put so much weight on Luigi. It's all about faxes now, dial up modems. I bet you've never even heard of a Sony Walkman. This material has not aged well. My name is Tamara March and I represent the Conservative Party. Fuck off! Oh, but what daft twat signed that? You did. But I'm Dean Waffle, Waffly Press Charm. Nine Maverick Bars. Oh, they don't do Mavericks anymore. He's okay. I brought picnics. Go into the jungle and pick ten pieces of fruit and bring them back. So they come back and the chief says, So, Englishman, oh. do the voice. The chief says, So, Englishman, now you must choose between death or Mau Mau. The Englishman says, We English will not bow to savages. I'll choose Mau Mau. So they grab him and they stick the ten pieces of fruit up his ass. Yeah, and what did he pick? Oh, the Englishman chose cherries. Cherries, imagine that, my ten cherries stuffed up your ass. <laughs> cherries, are you ready? Smile, though, are they? <laughs> Come on, Brian. Chief says the Scotsman says uh, death, uh, death or Mau Mau. Scotsman says Mau Mau and he... Oh. What's the... Scotsman's fruit, Jeff? Is it banana? No, it's smaller than that. Well, let's just say banana. No, it's too big! He spoils the next one! <laughs> Apple. No! Strawberries? Oh, what? In the jungle? <laughs> All right, my lover. I'm a sit of the harmonium. 
and sing. <laughs> Absolutely, this is a victory for common sense. Our father raised us to stand up to the schoolyard bully, and that's what we've done here. Don't you remember? I've got a slow metabolism, Luigi. We're going now, Luigi. You don't like me, Luigi. You can have these in a doggy bag, Luigi. I'm just a mouth to him, Luigi. I pretend it's Stella, Luigi. I do regret that. <laughs> As an actor, I regret that. Well, I don't. You used to sit and dream, Nelly Jean. Plums! <laughs> what? It's plums, come on! Oh, yeah, oh, it, it doesn't, doesn't matter, matter now. What's it fucking matters? <laughs> Steve turns to the Irishman, he says, death or mau mau. You didn't do the voice. do not matter! <laughs> Finish it. I can't remember. Finish it. I can't remember. Please. Jeff! I honestly can't remember. Oh, what's going on? What's all this shouting wheel? Have no trouble here. Yeah. A word of advice, ladies and gentlemen. If you don't agree with something, shoot it in the chest with a crossbow. It is a shit business. I may do with a hole in a cabbage, but at least I had the decency to marry her. <laughs> What just happened? What do we do, Luigi? How do we choose, Luigi? Oh, it's just a big fucking joke to you, in it? <laughs> yeah, Jeff can't tell a joke. Jeff is a joke. Jeff enters a talent competition and loses eight. <laughs> My mum said I would win. With only eight. We have got, got this joke done. Done. <laughs> You! We're gonna tell this joke. <laughs> and we're all gonna laugh. You know, Auntie Val, sometimes you can't go back. I know. We didn't cut their faces off. Mm -hmm. Oh, Christ. <laughs> oh, Nelly, dear. I've got fingers in lots of pies. They're just not my fingers. What is this place? It's a wife mine now. Sorry, Mr. Lazaro. She's my wife now. But you can visit. Yes. You can visit. The Irishman looks at his fruit. Pineapple! Oh! Pineapple! 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 And he says, I don't think I can stand the Mau Mau. I'll choose death. And the chief says to him, Get, Get it, it right, Brian! Right, <laughs> I can't remember. <laughs> he says, Death by Mau Mau. <laughs> yeah, you heard it? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> 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 <laughs>